After the death of Stephen, a persecution began here in Jerusalem that drove the believers outside throughout Judea and Samaria. Saul was at the center of much of this persecution and the Christians were punished in the synagogue. Some were put in prison and some suffered the same fate as Stephen and were put to death. As the early church was driven from Jerusalem by persecution, Acts chapter 8 verse 4 says that they went everywhere preaching the gospel, fulfilling the biblical command to go into all the world and share the good news. One of the places they would go is the city of Damascus, today in neighboring Syria, with Philip and Peter and John all going to the city as a cluster of new believers was formed. The rise of the church in this city angered Saul, and he went to see the high priest in Jerusalem to ask if he could go and deal with the problem. He was given permission to go, and with letters of authority in hand, he headed up to Galilee over the hills and into Damascus. However, on his way he was stopped. A painfully bright light was in his path and he heard the words, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He asked who it was and the answer came back, I am Jesus. Imagine being on your way to persecute the followers of Jesus and Jesus himself comes down to see you. Jesus knew what a powerful worker he could become if he turned his life around and so he came down personally to meet with him. He asked what he should do and he was told to go into the city but he had lost his sight and so his companions had to help him get there. There he stayed in the city for three days without food or water and the Lord appeared to a man called Ananias telling him to go and search for Saul. He was initially hesitant knowing he was the man who had come to persecute the believers but he agrees and goes and finds him and through an act of God Saul's eyesight is restored. After eating and drinking and regaining his strength he immediately starts to preach in the city. Saul was an incredibly gifted man and the force of his reasoning was not something that people could argue with and realizing that they could not battle him theologically or intellectually, the Jews decided to kill him. He was helped in his escape from the city by the same believers he had planned to kill and they lowered him in a basket over the city wall and he returned here to Jerusalem. As he came to Jerusalem, he joined with the Christian believers, but many of them were skeptical because after all, this was the man who had caused so much heartache for the church. Here was a new believer in the faith, someone who was incredibly gifted and could do great things for the cause, but the church was not sure about his story. How he is received now is a pivotal point in the future of the church and in Saul's life. In Acts chapter 9 and verse 27, the Bible says, But Barnabas took him and brought him to the disciples and told them how he had seen the Lord. But Barnabas. Maybe today you need a Barnabas or you need to be a Barnabas for someone else and be their advocate. Maybe someone you know is trying to come back to God, to come back to church. Maybe you need to give them some responsibility to forgive their past indiscretions and to give them a fresh start as Saul was given with Barnabas. May we see other people as Christ sees them and look for the best in them.